This video will show you how to import your product information into the ShelfLogic Enterprise Edition database. This information can be imported using a spreadsheet. There's a spreadsheet called Import Template EE .csv, which is located in the ShelfLogic Enterprise Edition folder. If you double click on this file, it will open in Excel. Here in Excel, we can see all of the columns. The field headings are on the first line. You can leave them there. You can cut and paste data from your system into the appropriate column in this spreadsheet. You don't have to fill in each column. If you want to fill in the column later, you can import again and again, adding additional information and possibly new products each time you import. There are four fields that must be filled in. Column A is the key field, which is the UPC code. If you wish, you can use the SKU code or other field as long as it's unique. Since Excel will sometimes turn long numbers into scientific notation or strip leading zeros, you must put an asterisk in front of each UPC code or whatever you use for this field. It will be removed when importing. Then you must enter the product dimensions, which go into columns O through Q. The dimensions are in inches or centimeters. Numbers are entered as decimals, not fractions. If you want to show a photo of the product, then fill in column BJ, the image name field. In here you put the full path and name of the product photo. Here we have a sample of a filled in spreadsheet. Let's take a look at each column in detail. Column A is the key field and must be entered. You can use the UPC code or any other unique field to identify your products. This field can be up to 25 characters in length. You can enter numbers or letters. Column B is the item number and can be up to 25 characters in length. You can enter numbers or letters. Column C is the SKU code and could be up to 25 characters in length. You can enter numbers or letters. Column D is the vendor code for the product and can be up to 25 characters in length. You can enter numbers or letters. Column E is the vendor's name and can be up to 50 characters in length. Column F is the name of the product and can be up to 50 characters in length. Column G is the item type and is one character in length. It is an S for a shelf item, P for a pegged item, and I for signage. Pegged items can go on pegs or shelves. If you leave this blank, it defaults to peg. Column H is the category and can be up to 50 characters in length. Column I is a subcategory and can be up to 50 characters in length. Column J is the sub subcategory and can be up to 50 characters in length. Column K is the category role and can be up to 25 characters in length. Column L is the strategic role and can be up to 25 characters in length. Column M is the life cycle stage and can be up to 25 characters in length. Column N is the description and can be up to 50 characters in length. Column O is the unit product width and is a number in inches or centimeters. Enter decimals, not fractions. Column P is the product height and is a number of inches or centimeters. Enter decimals, not fractions. Column Q is the product depth and is a number in inches or centimeters. Enter decimals, not fractions. Column R is the number of units in a unit, which is always a one or blank. You do not need to enter anything in this field. Column S is the cost to make or buy this product. It can be in any denomination. Column T is the selling price to a retailer or distributor. It can be in any denomination. Column U is the retail price, the price sold to the public. It can be in any denomination. Column V is the width of a tray of products and is a number in inches or centimeters. Enter decimals, not fractions. Columns W through AB have the information for a tray of products. It's the same information as with a single unit product, but refers to a tray of products. Column Y is tray units, which is the number of single or unit products in a tray. 
Columns AC through AI have the information for a case of products. It's the same information as with a single unit product, but refers to a case of products. Column AJ is the width of a display of products and is a number in inches or centimeters, interdecimals, not fractions. Columns AK through AP have the information for display of products. It's the same information as with a single unit product, but refers to a display of products. Columns AQ through AW have the information for an alternate form of merchandising the products. It's the same information as with a single unit, but refers to an alternate form of products. Column AEX is the default merchandising style for this product. When you place this product on the plan, this is the merchandising style that will be used. Zero is for a unit or single product, one is for a tray of products, two is for a case, three is for a display, and four is for an alternate form. If nothing is entered, the default is zero, which is a single unit. Column AY is the product brand and can be up to 50 characters in length. Column AZ is the product weight. It can be in ounces, pounds, any measurement that you want. Column BA is the unit of measure for the weight. It can be up to two characters in length. Column BB is the peg type, if this is a pegged item. Zero, one, or blank is a single hole, single hook. Two is a double hole, single hook. Three is the same, but with a label. Four is a double hole, rounded wire. Five is the same, but with a label and six is a clip strip. If nothing is entered, it defaults to a single hole, single hook. Column BC is the peg hole one left. This is the distance from the left side of the product to the center of the peg hole and is in inches or centimeters. Enter decimals, not fractions. Column BD is peg hole one top. This is the distance from the top of the product to the center of the peg hole and is in inches or centimeters. Enter decimals, not fractions. Columns BE and BF are used by the system and shouldn't be entered. Column BG is the outline color of the product, shown when the photo is not displayed. Colors are as windows long color. If nothing is entered, the default is black. Column BH is the fill color of the product, shown when the photo is not displayed. As with the outline color, the colors are in Windows long format. If nothing is entered, the default is white. Column BI is the pattern of the fill color for the product when the photo is not displayed. The pattern is a number shown in the pattern chart. If nothing is entered, the default is solid. This is the pattern chart and shows the pattern number for each pattern. Column BJ is the image name field and shows the full path and name of the photo image used for this product. You can enter up to 255 characters. Columns BK through BN are the image name fields for the other merchandising types. As with the unit photo image, enter the full path and name of the photo image used for this product. You can enter up to 255 characters in each field. Columns BO and BP are the shape, number, and name. The program will fill these in so you can leave them blank. Column BQ is the photo image transparent color. This is used to remove the background of photos so they can nest, etc. Enter a Windows long color. Zero is black and 16777215 is white. Negative one indicates no transparent color. A rectangular product does not need a transparent color, so enter negative 1. If nothing is entered, the default is negative 1. Column BR is the nest amount field. This is used if products are nested one inside another and indicates the distance between the top of one product to the top of another. Enter a number in inches or centimeters. If the product is not nest, then enter 0. If nothing is entered, the default is 0. Columns BS through BW are the five user fields. You can enter up to 50 characters in each field. Column BX is the metric field. 
This determines if the measurements are in metric or English. Enter no for measurements in inches and yes if the measurements are in centimeters. You can mix measurements within a database. The measurements are converted when placed on the plan. So if the measurements are in inches and you are doing a plan in metric, the measurements are converted from inches to centimeters. When done, save your information as a comma delimited CSV file. To import your spreadsheet, start the Enterprise Edition. Then, from the File menu, select Import. Select the CSV file that you just saved. You can browse for it. Then select the database into which you want to import the data. There's an option to clear the database before proceeding. Only do this if you are starting the database over again. Most of the time you will not check this. If your image is named after one of the database fields and all images are in the same folder, you can use the Create Image Name Fields feature. At the top, we have a typical image named after the UPC code field for that product. The image name path where the images are stored is put into the Path Where Images Are Located text box. The image extension, JPEG in this case, is put into the extension text box. Then choose the field that's used for the image name, UPC code in this case. When we click OK, our import is complete. You can import into any database, but if you need to, you can create a new database. From the File menu, select New Database, then choose a location and give the database a name. 